Hello guys, welcome to Everything Metallurgy and welcome to day 77 of 100 days 100 concepts. Today in this video, there is a small question which is actually an XRD related, uh, not completely XRD, but XRD and uh, an edge dislocation uh, mixture of question. And it was asked in gate 2018, right? So let's uh, see the question what is it? So consider a dilute substitutional solid solution of A in A, uh, sorry, X in A, that means x is my solute atom and a is the matrix metal the powder diffraction pattern of this alloy reveals that all the peaks have shifted to the left now what are these peaks here so basically in xrd you get to see intensity versus two theta plots okay two theta is nothing but the angle i mean two times the angle of a black angle right so if you just take a plot you see something like this okay so depending on you know different planes and its hkl values you see these coming in right so hkl as i said okay so again each crystal structure shows different peaks different diffractions why because you have certain extinction condition okay so uh, i'll make a video uh, some other day on uh, you know which peaks you can see in which crystal structures right so let's say this is nfcc so usually in fcc hkl are unmixed so usually you have one 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 two zero zero and so on okay so here uh, coming back to this graph so this is my intensity on my y-axis and two theta on x-axis okay so two theta is nothing but two times of the Bragg's angle right because diffraction is only possible when Bragg's law is obeyed only those planes which are actually you know uh, obeying the uh, Bragg's law will be diffracted right so now what the question says is this particular pattern of this alloy reveals that the peaks have been shifted to the left as compared for those of pure A that means let's say this is for pure a condition okay that means uh, you don't have any solute now on putting in uh, the solute you see that they are telling that the peak is actually moving to its left right that's what it is telling right all the peaks have been shifted to its left when compared to those for pure a now so carefully if you observe before moving on uh, to the next part of the question what is happening here when a solute atom is coming in you see that the two theta is decreasing that means theta value is decreased okay that's when you see the peaks are shifted to left correct if the theta is actually reduced you see that the peaks are shifted to the left now what is Bragg's law so we know n lambda equal to 2d sin theta okay for a constant lambda for a constant wavelength we can write d is inversely proportional to sine theta correct or we also know d equal to what a by root of h square plus k square plus l square what is d here the interplanar distance or interplanar spacing for hkl planes okay so from here you can say that d is proportional to a right so a is proportional to so sine theta is again proportional to theta so a is proportional to theta sorry inversely proportional to theta correct so what i mean by that is if my theta is reduced what happens my lattice parameter increases so what is happening in this case is the theta is decreased because the theta is decreased you see that there is an increase in the lattice parameter that means you have to know that a solute because because of the solute only it is actually moving to the left right so the lattice parameter of a solute is greater than my lattice parameter of pure a right so this is one conclusion which we got and the question is not over yet we are only till half of it right now going back to the question if such a solute atom interacts and segregates with an edge dislocation which of the following positions so yeah i did not take the options but i'll explain all of those right 
which of the following positions around the dislocation will be preferentially occupied okay so what is the solute the solute which is actually having larger lattice parameter as compared to that of my pure a now if it is actually interacting and segregates that means it want to just sit in a position around an edge dislocation that's what this segregation means okay which will be the position now considering my edge dislocation okay so let's say this is my edge dislocation and this will be your slip plane right this is my edge dislocation over here above the slip plane you see there is a compressive stress field or the compressive strains generated okay so depending on the position around this dislocation you see different strain fields so above the slip plane you see there is compressive strain field and below you see there is a tensile strain field and in the same slip plane okay you see that there is a shear strain created okay so this is the field that is created by the dislocation because you have an extra row of atom inserted there will be some changes coming in the strain fields also and also it is changing depending on the position above the slip plane is compressive below is tensile and on the same slip plane sideways is shear now if i have a solute atom let's say this is solute atom x and here in this case it is what a substitutional solute atom because the size of solute atom will actually you know vary everything the size of the solute atom will actually affect where it has to go so usually we know we have two different types right one is an interstitial solute atom and the second is substitutional correct so basically what is interstitial let's say if i have four atoms like this okay or oh sorry let me take it in this way right let's say if there are closely packed there is a void created and if some external foreign atom is coming and sitting in here in the interstitial position we call it an interstitial solid solution right uh, example is carbon in iron in case of steels so what happens here in this case what will be the force it will try to push away your atoms right that means you see that the forces are on my atom because the atom should uh, you know uh, sit in the void and it's also spherical it will push away so in this particular way so what is happening the pre-existing atoms are actually undertaking a compressive strain they are actually feeling some compression right you see that because this particular atom is coming and sitting here it is pushing right it is pushing away my existing atom there that is nothing but my compression and also let's say uh, we are talking about a substitutional atom and some let's say we have a smaller atom so because it is a smaller atom these atoms are trying to reduce my voids over there so what happens these will be attracted towards the small substitutional atom so this is compression in the case of what interstitial atom similarly here this is smaller substitutional atom so what you see that because it is not pushing away so it is not compression it is tension but if my atom is larger so let's say the atom that i have is larger then what is happening again it won't fit properly so it will try to push and make space for it so in this case also you see that it will push away so this is actually a larger substitutional atom and here it is also creating compression so interstitial is always creating a compressive strains whereas smaller substitutional atoms are actually creating a tensile strain and also larger substitutional is identical to my interstitial providing or sorry producing a compression stress now so this is the strain field actually created by these solute atoms and also there is some strain fields inhibited because of the dislocation now which position these solute atoms can take the answer is the solution the sorry the 
solute atoms will try to take a position such that it will decrease the overall strain energy of my system okay overall strain energy must be reduced so the position will be such that the overall strain energy will be reduced right that's what any spontaneous system will do it will try to minimize its energy states the same thing here that means if you have a solute atom which is having a compressive strain with it it will try to go and sit in a tensile field because the overall strain associated with the system will be reduced okay that means my interstitial and my larger substitutional atom because they are both are generating compressive stress they will sit in my tensile region of dislocation right which is my below the dislocation or below the slip plane right whereas what about this the smaller interstitial sorry the smaller substitutional atom is actually creating a tensile stress so it will be above the dislocation why because on the top you have a compressive strain and this produces a tensile stress so it will try to compensate at least some of the strains are getting compensated right so this is how your solute atoms will try to choose a position such that it is minimizing the overall strain energy of your body okay so here in the question let's go to the question the solute x that we have is actually substitutional and we got the size relation also from the xrd graph that the solute atom is greater than the pure a which is the matrix that means this is a case of this which is a larger substitutional solute so it is creating a compressive strain field so it tries to go and sit in the tensile strain field so that some of the stresses are compensated and the overall energy is reduced so your answer will be the x will be somewhere here okay so different positions are given in the options you must choose where your solute atom is sitting on the bottom that is in the tensile region so i hope this video made you a clear you know body a clear idea of how things are connected so see where is xrd and where is this its dislocation concept right so from xrd you actually got the size relation and using the size relation you decide in the strain field concept right so i hope you like this video if you like it please hit the like button and also share with all the gate metallurgy aspirants so you are left with around only 40 days for gate 2021 so i wish you all the very best and uh, i am getting some queries for gate 2022 so do let me know in the comments if and when our batch should start and meanwhile we are already working on it and we'll get out with a detailed video to explain about how the upcoming and fresh batch will be going to be right so that's it from my side thank you guys we'll meet you in the next video